Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. Just yesterday a new magma intrusion began under Faraldars Fjall, but that makes it the third one in the last one and a half years. Around 3000 earthquakes have been detected since noon on July 30th, with 60 being over 3 in magnitude and 6 over 4, there's no break. They've also been moving shallower frighteningly fast, but that means the magma is getting closer to the surface and sits at its shallowest at 2 kilometers below the surface. This earthquake swarm will continue for the next couple of days and activity will fluctuate as to be expected. Following these news, our civil defense team have raised the alert level of the Reykjanes Peninsula yet again and the volcano alert level has also been raised to yellow. The largest earthquake to hit yet struck today at around 18 pm local time and it measured at 5.4 in magnitude. That is quite the shake, and it caused a lot of mess in the nearby town of Grindavik, which is now yet again having to tolerate these strong earthquakes. Here's a little video which was taken shortly after the earthquake struck. I myself could feel it very well in my home in Hafnarfjörður, and to me it was just exciting, as I of course didn't have to deal with all the mess due to my greater distance from the earthquake's origin. But what details do we have on this new intrusion? Well, let's check them out. Let's begin by looking at the trusty earthquake map. Here we can see where the earthquakes are coming from and we can clearly see a path being formed which is where the magma is moving. We can also check for the details of the earthquakes and see how the more recent earthquakes in red are much shallower than the older earthquakes in green. The center of activity has moved from 8 to 5 kilometers to 4 to 2 kilometers in under 48 hours. The magma seems to be in a hurry. Since this just happened yesterday, we don't have any fancy data of the situation. Our experts were expecting satellite images today, but they had to be delayed a few days, so we're left with the good old GPS equipment on the peninsula, but they show clear signs of uplift just northeast of the old eruption site. So, in the last 40 hours, this has happened. We had a magma intrusion at 8 kilometers below the surface, which moved quickly upwards with a lot of power, which we felt in the earthquakes. At the moment, it sits around 2 kilometers below the surface, probably forming a small sill. It's uncertain what will happen next, but in previous magma intrusions in the area, magma has spent some time around the 2 km mark, since the ground seems to be tricky there. But how likely is this intrusion to result in an eruption? Well, it's hard to say, but we have some data to compare the recent activity to. Let's begin by comparing the beginning of this event to the one back in February of 2021. We can see that the one back in 2021 started with a louder bang, but fell off quite hard. The current activity is holding its intensity much more. By comparing this to the intrusion back in December of 2021, we can see that it is much weaker than the two and it didn't result in an eruption. Looking at activity in the first intrusion, a few days after its beginning, we can see that it stayed very powerful. This is something we look out for in the current intrusion, but the one in December of 2021 fell off really fast and didn't hold its power. So at the moment, this intrusion has a higher chance of resulting in an eruption than the one in December based on these comparisons, and is currently on par with the first intrusion back in February of 2021. It's going to be exciting to see what will happen in the next couple of hours and days. Hopefully, we'll get the satellite data soon, as it tells us so much about the situation, and as soon as we have any more exciting data, I'll be sure to update you guys. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.